Okay. Good morning. So I would like to explain one algorithm. So call it is a Fuzzer algorithm. So the methodology is same for the discrete uh, and the continuous, but in continuous there is little bit different. But however, it is useful. Uh, to solve the system of difference, first order difference equation, right? <clears throat> it is a, a simple method for the n by n matrix or k by k matrix to find the eigenvectors, eigenvalues, and finally we need to find the solution by using the discrete Husserl algorithm, right? <clears throat> so now, the first we will discuss the autonomous homogeneous linear system of difference equation. Suppose I have K equations first order, that is x1 n plus 1 is equals to a11 x1 n, a12 x2 of n, and so on a1 k xk of n, and x2 of n plus 1 is equals to a21 x1 of n, a22 x2 of n, and so on, a2 k xk of n, and so on. The kth equation xk of n plus 1 is equals to ak plus 1, ak1, x1 of n plus ak2, x2 of n, and so on, akk, xk of n. So, where a i is a, where i, right, i comma j lies in between 1, 2, so now I am going to write this k first order linear differential equation into a matrix vector form or vector matrix form. The left hand side I can write capital X of n plus 1. This is the 1 by k column vector that is x1 n plus 1, x2, n plus 1, and so on, x, k, n plus 1. And the right hand side, I can put into the matrix form, that is a times x of n, where x of n is x1, n, x2 of n, x, k of n, right? So, this can be written as a matrix, vector matrix form, because xn plus 1 is uh, 1 by column vector, and a is k by k matrix. It is the entries are constants, real numbers. Suppose in our dynamical system, there is a initial condition we are taking as x of 0 is equals to x1 of 0, x2 of 0, and so on, xk of 0. This is our initial condition of the system of first order linear differential equation. So now we will see what is the x of 1. x of 1 is put n is equals to 0, we will get x of 1 that is a of x of 0. So then x of 2 is equals to a of x of 1, but x of 1 is a times x of 0, that is a square x of 0. And x of 3 can be written as n is equals to 2, then you can write x of 3 is equals to a x of 2. But x of 2 we know that in the previous equation that is a square x of 0. 
so and so on what happened in finally the x of n is equal to a to the power of n times x of 0. So this is a solution for the vector matrix form of the system of difference equation. So in this one, what is the main ingredient uh, to find a to the power of n? That is uh, nth power of the matrix A with x of 0 initial condition. So now we are going to mm, frame one algorithm how to identify A to the power of A. So this is that um, our algorithm working for how to identify A to the power of A. So we will discuss the discrete Husser algorithm. So what is this theorem tells us? The discrete Husser algorithm. Suppose our A is a K by K matrix. K by K matrix. With eigenvalues, lambda 1, lambda 2, and so on, lambda K. But you know that these lambdas are either repeated or complex or distinct. Whatever the case, it will be working. So there is no uh, different cases. What happened if all eigenvalues are distinct? What happened a to the power of n? if the eigenvalues are repeated, etc. So that one is, uh, this algorithm is working for any type of eigenvalues. So that is the major advantage of uh, this user algorithm. If A is a K by K matrix and lambda 1, lambda 2 and so on, lambda K are the eigenvalues, then a to the power of n can be written as summation j is equals to 1 to k uj of n times m of j minus 1. So in this summation, what is the uj of n and what, what are the m of j minus 1? So let us see the first one, m of j minus 1. So if you put j is equals to 1, that is m of 0, that is our identity matrix, right? If it is a two by two matrix, then the M of zero is equals to one, zero, zero, one. If it is three by three matrix, our M of zero is one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, et cetera. So what is the MJ? M of J is equals to product product from i is equals to 1 to j a minus lambda i times i. So that is, for example, if j is equals to 3, then what about this product? That m of 3 is equals to a minus lambda 1 i times a minus lambda 2 i times a minus lambda three times i. So based on that i, we can identify what is the matrix M of j. So that is for M of j minus 1. And what about uj of n? uj of n is nothing but the uh, link with the our eigenvalues. So what is the first u1 of n? u1 of n is simply lambda 1 to the power of n. And uj of n, where j is equals to 2, 3, and so on, k is, right, is equals to, uh, uj of n is equals to summation, j is equals to 0 to 
n minus 1 times lambda j to the power of n minus 1 minus j times u j minus 1 of i. That is before uh, u j, that is u j minus 1 of i. So we will explain with help of the example this u1, u2 and so on the uh, uh, uk, right? So first let us see the uh, suppose this is my system of difference equation x1 of n plus 1 is equals to x1 of n minus x2 of n and x2 of n plus 1 is equals to 2x2 of n. So I can write this is 0 times x1 of n because in the second equation there is no x1. So that's why I put the 0 times x1 of n plus 2 times x2 of n. So now I am going to write into the uh, vector matrix form. But here is also the initial condition x1 of 0 is equal to 0 and x2 of 0 is equal to 1. So if I am writing in the vector matrix form, my x1 is x1 of n and x2 of n because here there are two equations x1 and x2. So this is uh, uh, 2 by 1 column vector. Right? And this is my matrix A. See in the first equation x1 coefficient is 1 and x2 coefficient is minus 1. In the second equation, x1 coefficient is 0 and the x2 coefficient is 2. So this is my matrix A. And so above system can be written as x of n plus 1 is equal to A of x1 and x of 0 is equal to 0, 1 transpose. That is x1 of 0 and x2 of 0 that is equal to 0, 1. That is 2 by 1 column vector. So first, what we are going to do, first we need to find the eigenvalues of this matrix A. Right? <clears throat> so what is, you know that uh, the eigenvalues of A is determinant of A minus lambda i is equals to 0. That is 1 minus a lambda i. So I can uh, use the notation uh, modulus a minus lambda i as a determinant is equals to 0. So what happened this one? This is nothing but uh, 1 minus lambda, right? Mm. Uh, times 2 minus lambda is equals to 0, right? So, you know that what is the a minus lambda i? That is equals to a is 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus lambda, lambda uh, 0, 0, lambda. So, that is 1 minus uh, lambda, right? minus 1 is minus 1 and uh, 0 that is 2 minus lambda. So that is the matrix A minus lambda. So the determinant of A is equal to you know that multiply with the principal diagonal element minus multiply with the second diagonal. So this is very simple what you learned in the undergraduate. Right? So then this is my polynomial equation. We call it a characteristic polynomial and characteristic equation. We know that the roots of these equations, we are calling the eigenvalues. These eigenvalues are lambda is equals to 1 and lambda is equals to 2, right? So don't worry, those eigenvalues are repeated or distinct and whatever it may be, uh, this method will be perfect.
right? So then, what is the uh, uh, Fujur algorithm, right? So then, um, I can write the Fujur algorithm that is a to the power of n is equals to summation j is equals to 1 to 2 because this is a 2 by 2 matrix uj of n times mj minus 1. If you expand this one, then you get uh, u1 of n times m of 0 plus u2 of n times m of 1. So we need to find what is the u1 and u2 and what is the m of 0 and m of 1. So you know that m of 0 is 2 by 2 identity matrix. So right. So this m of 0 is our 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, and the m of 1 is j minus lambda 1 i. Right, so lambda one is lambda one is equals to one and lambda two is equals to two. So now I am putting lambda one is equals to one, that is a minus i. Then you will get um, a is our one minus one zero two minus i one zero zero one. So this is nothing but zero minus 1, 0, and 2 minus 1, that is 1. So this is A minus I, that is our M, M of 1. So now we are going to calculate what is the U of 1. So in our algorithm, they mention A, U1 of N is a lambda 1 to the power of N. Our lambda 1 is 1, so 1 to the power of N is equals to 1. So what is the u of u2 of n is a summation j is equals to 0 to n minus 1 and uh, lambda 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus i times here is u2 then here is u1 of i. If you expand this one you know that lambda 2 is a 2 so 2 to the power of n minus 1 right minus i and u1 of i is equals to u1 of 1 because uh, that is 1 isn't it so that's why that is a constant so that is you will get 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus i so here i can write this one is summation i is equals to 0 to n minus 1 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 2 to the power of minus i. So this is an independent of i. You can take out uh, from the sum. So that is 2 to the power of n minus 1 is uh, multiplied with 1 over 2 to the power of i. But you know this sum. The sum is a to the power of summation i is equals to 0 to n minus 1, uh, a to the power of n is equals to 1 minus a to the, sorry, a to the power of i, 1 minus a to the power of minus 1 by a, if a is not equals to 0, and that is equals to n, if a is equals to 0, right? So that's why I am expanding this one. 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 1 minus a to the power of n over 1 minus a. So we know that what is our a? a is 1 over 2 uh, to the power of n. Right? So what is the simplification? This is nothing but 2 to the power of here is uh, 1 minus 1 by 2, that is 2 minus 1 by 2. So that is 1 over 2. This 2 will be up. Then uh, 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 
2 to the power of n. So minus 1 plus 1 cancel. You will get 2 to the power of n times 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n. So expand this one. This is nothing but 2 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n times 1 over 2 to the power of n. That is equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1. That is our u2 of n. So then, right, what is the, according to the Husserl algorithm, a to the power of n is equals to u1, right? Uh, that is summation j is equals to 1 to 2 uj uj of n times mj m of j minus 1 after expansion this one is nothing but u1 this is u1 u1 of n times m of 0 plus u2 of n times m of 1. Right? So u of 1 is 1 and this is m of 0, 2, 2, 2 by 2 identity matrix. And this is u2 of n. So this is my u2 of a and this is our m of 1, right? So then you know that one this is nothing but an identity matrix. You will get an identity 1, 0, 0, 1. Plus here is a 0, right? Uh, 1 minus 2 to the power of n, 0 and 2 to the power of n minus 1. And adding these two matrix, 1, right, 1 minus 2 to the power of n, and 1 plus here is 1 plus 2 to the power of n minus 1, and minus 1 plus 1 cancel, we will get a to the power of n is this one. So what is our analytical solution? That is x of n is equals to a to the power of n times x of 0. This is my a to the power of n and the initial condition is 0 comma 1. So this is 2 by 2 matrix and this is 2 by 1 column vector then their product we can expect 2 by 1 column vector. So 1 times 1 times 0 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of n times 1. The second row uh, 0 into 0 plus 1 times 2 to the power of n. So this is simply 1 minus 2 to the power of n over 2 to the power of n. So what is the x of n? The right hand, left hand side, this is x1 of n, this is x2 of n. So the x1 of n is equals to 1 minus 2 to the power of n and x2 of n is equals to 2 to the power of n. Right? So this is a 2 by 2 matrix example. And then, so the, the advantage of the conversion from the, the kth order the difference first order linear, sorry, kth order difference equation to a system of uh, first order uh, k linear differences equations. Then we will see the best example, the Fibonacci. 
So, so this is uh, advantage uh, to convert kth order difference equation to the system of first order linear difference equation, right? So see the well-known Fibonacci sequence f of n plus 2 is equals to f of n plus 1 plus f of n with the initial condition f of 0 is equals to 1 and f of 1 is equals to 2. So first we need to convert this one into the system of first order to linear differences equation. So this is a second order. What we are going second order, we are assuming f of n plus 1 so less than uh, 2, that is 1, we call it as a g of n. And uh, g, of, g of n plus 1 is equal to f of n plus 2. But f of n plus 2 is nothing but our equation uh, f of n plus f of n plus 1. But f of n plus 1, we are assuming as a g of n, that is f of n plus g of n. So, f of n plus 1 is equals to g of n. That is, I can write 0 times f of n plus 1 times g of n. So, now I am going to convert it into this one as a vector matrix form. The left hand side I am considered as x of n plus 1 is equals to f of n plus 1 and g of n plus 1. And the right hand side, so we need to put into the matrix that is in the first equation fn coefficient is 0, gn coefficient is 1, and the second equation in g of n plus 1, the coefficient of fn is equals to 1 and coefficient of g, g of n is uh, 1. Right? So this is our matrix A. This is Fibonacci matrix. Fibonacci sequence. This matrix is obtained based on the Fibonacci sequence. Right? This is A. So simply, this is my matrix, vector matrix form. And uh, X of N is equals to the column vector of F of N and G of N. And A is our constant matrix 0, 1, 1, 1 with initial condition. What is the initial condition? X of 0 is equals to F of 0, right? G of 0. That is f of 0 is 1. g of 0 is nothing but our f of 1. That is 2. So that is our initial condition 2 by 1 column vector. Right? So now, uh, according to the Fuser algorithm, first we need to identify what are the eigenvalues, right? So we know that uh, A minus lambda i, right? Uh, first we need to find what is the A minus lambda i. What is the A? You know that A is 0, 1, 1, 1 minus lambda 0, 0, lambda. That is equals to minus lambda, right? And this is a 1. And this is also a 1. And this is a 1 minus lambda. So the determinant A minus lambda i is equals to right, minus lambda times 1 minus lambda and minus 1, this is. So expanding, we will get the second order um, quadratic equation in lambda.
you know that quadratic equation lambda we are using the formula minus b so ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 minus b x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac over b. So using that formula, we will get the lambda is equal to 1 plus r minus 5 root 5 over 2. So this is uh, the eigenvalues are lambda is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and lambda 2 is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. So now, once if you are identifying the matrix A and uh, eigenvalues, then we can determine the nth power of the matrix A by using the zero lambda. Once if you know the A to the power of n, simple, our solution is x of n is equal to A of n times x of n. So this is our general solution. So this is 2 by 2 matrix. A to the power of n is equal to summation j is equal to 1, 2, 2. Uj of n times m of j minus 1. And after the expansion, this is u1 of n times m of 0 plus u2 of n times m of 1. But you know that the m of 0 is nothing but an identity. Here, our matrix is 2 by 2. So the identity matrix, 2 by 2 identity matrix, uh, 1, 0, 0, 1 for m of 0. So what is the m of 1? m of 1 is nothing but a minus lambda 1i. So what is the a? a is 0, right? 0, 1, 1, 1 minus lambda 1 times i. What is the lambda 1? Lambda 1 is 1 plus root 5 over 2, right? 1 plus root 5 by 2, 0, 0. And this is 1 minus root 5 over 2. So the subtraction of the two matrices, we will get minus uh, 1 plus root 5 over 2. Sorry, this is plus root 5 by 2. And 1, and this is 1. Uh, and this is 1 minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. That is 1 minus lambda 1 is nothing but lambda 2. So you will get 1 minus root 5 over 2. So this is my M1 matrix. So then we need to find what is the u1, n, and u2 of n. So we know that u1 of n is equal to lambda 1, our first eigenvalue to the power of n. So this is 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n. And u2 of n is uh, summation j is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and lambda 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus i u1 of i. But this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So we no need to worry of the um, uh, um, matrix summation. So this is summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus y. And this is u1 of i. u1 is uh, the first one what we identify here. 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of i. Isn't it? So you can simplify it. Then here is, I can write this one as 1 minus root 5 by 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 1 minus root 5 by 2 to the power of minus i. So n minus 1 is independent of summation. You can take out, right? 
So you will get only one plus, here is already one plus root five to the power of five by two. Here is one minus root five to the power two by i. So what will happen? The two to the power of i uh, will be cancelled and you will get one plus root five over i over uh, one minus root five. So this is the simple one. So this one is, we can again simplify. This is again, you can write this one as an a, right? You know that what is the a to the power of i summation where i is equals to mm, 0 to n minus 1. This is 1 minus a to the power of n by 1 minus a. Where a is equals to this uh, quotient, 1 plus root of root 5 over 1 minus root 5. That is 1 minus a to the power of n by 1 minus a to the power of minus 1. I took the power to the power of minus one. And the simplify, right? The simplify this one, you will get the one minus root five to the power of n minus uh, one minus root five over two to the power of n minus one. And this is one minus one plus root five over one minus root five to the power of n. I am going to simplify this one, right? This is simply one minus root five minus one minus root five over one minus root five to the power of minus one. Minus one plus one cancel, we get minus two to the power of five, one minus root five to the power of minus one. Right. So that is the value here. So this is to the power of minus one mean one over uh, this fraction. So that's why one one minus root five is in new uh, numerator and this one is a denominator. Right. And as usual of this summation. Right, so totally we will get here is uh, one over minus one over root five times one minus root five by two to the power of n times this one, right? Uh, because this is a simplification. Uh, after simplification, you will get minus 1 over root 5. Right? Yeah, you can rationalize, you will get that value, that simple version. Uh, so, here is, uh, finally, you got minus 1 over root 5, because if it is minus, then you can take out inside minus value. 1 over root 5 times 1 plus uh, root 5 uh, by 2 to the power of n minus, here is 1 plus 1 minus root 5, 1 minus root 5 and cancel, you will get only 1 minus root 5 uh, over 2 to the power of n. Right? Is it? Okay, you can check. This one is 1 plus root 5 to the power of n. And this is, yes, true. So this is when we are multiplying this 1 minus root 5 and n and minus minus plus. First, you will get 1 plus root 5 by 2 to the power of n. And then this one times uh, 1, it will go to minus of 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power of n. So, everything is in your hand. So, u1, u2, m, m of 0, and m of 1.
So then your a to the power of n can be written as u1 of n times m of 0 plus u2 of n times m of 1. So just simplify, substitute all these values. Uh, that is, this is your a of n times x of 0, a of n a to the power of n is equals to recalling u1 of n times m of 0 plus u2 of n times m of 1. So u1 to the power of n, this is plus m of 0. This is identity matrix. This is our identity matrix. And x of 0, that is initial condition 1 over 2, plus this is our u of u2 of n, and this is our m2 m of 1, and this is your initial condition because x of n is equal to a to the power of n times x of 0. So now I am multiplying with the 2 by 1 column vector for the entire a of a to the power of a. So simple. This is one identity matrix times 1 over 2, you will get 1 over 2. So you know that identity uh, 1 times a is equals to a. So this is like identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 times 1, 2, you will get 1, 2. This is the 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n. And uh, again here, when we are multiplying with this, this one, right? So this is first row. This is multiplication, right? So this is when we are multiplying this one, 1 times minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 plus 1 times 2. So this is first column. This is that is 2 minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. This is. And this one again, the 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 minus root 5 over 2. You can cancel. Right? This is the equation. So this is the first simplification as it is. So this is 1 plus root 5 times this one. And this is 1 minus root 5 by 2 to the power of n. The simplification is 4 minus 1 minus root 5 by 2. That is 3 minus root 5 by 2. This is. And this is 2 to cancel. So 2 plus right uh, 2 plus 1 minus root 5 that is 3 minus root 5 sorry here is Here is 2 to cancel 1 plus 1. So here is 1 plus 1, that is 2 minus root 5. Yes. Right? Then the f of n. F of n is what is our f of n? That is our solution. X of n is our solution f of n. You know that x of n is equals to f of n and g of n. So based on that one, you can write what is the f of n, right? Uh, and substitute that f of n is equals to uh, 1 plus root 5 over n by 2 
plus 3 minus root 5 or uh, root times root 5 times square bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n times this vector. So simple after simplification, you will get 3 plus root 5 over 2 to the power 2 times root 5 times 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n and root 5 minus 3 over 2 times root 5 times 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power of Right. So whatever the method you are using, the solution is same. Right. So this is for the solution for the Fibonacci sequence by using the Fugger algorithm. Right. The next one is three by three matrix. Right. So now we will see the next video. We will continue. Right.